booty hit me up and told me shit on these niggas Cause these niggas out here came at you going showing the different Keep on dropping all of that shit that made you for wanna listen You know these niggas hate fuck them, tell them get out they feeling Cause look, niggas got in their mind and they can stop me Only way y'all get me, God not my all for you Know you only hate me cause you see your bitch Notice catch me soon inside the room throw on the set on the What's book. going on my good folks, it's your boy, your man, your guy 11:27 kicks, man. It's Hump Day Wednesday, so I hope everybody Wednesday is going well, man. We halfway through the week, man. So hopefully everybody's pushing through, doing their thing, man. Thank you for everybody who's stating their opinions on the Air Jordan One Low PSG rant video. I really appreciate that. And I just want to say, if anybody got something to say in the comment section, man, hey, feel free. Positive, negative, man. I'm not gonna take it to heart. Whether you like or dislike the video, I'm not taking it to heart, man. At the end of the day, I appreciate your view. And why you liking or disliking or being positive or, you know, stating your opinion, man, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get at your boy, man, because I try to fix it. I'm, I'm for the people. You feel what I'm saying? So, today, what I seen um, today is I seen some 2020 releases. And as I was looking on Kicks on Fire app, the Air Jordan 14 Hyper Royals are Rip Hamilton PEs are actually dropping in 2020, man. I'm actually excited about those because the ones that came out this year that they called PEs, excuse me, were not PEs. They were the candy canes, like straight up, man. It was really nothing different. It was nothing PE about the shoe. So that's definitely going to be something to look forward to, man. Also, the Gary Payton uh, PEs, those 12s are supposed to be dropping next year. And those PEs are black and yellow. And that's when he played with the Lakers. Unfortunately, my boys didn't get no chip that year, man. You know, Shaq and Kobe was beefing. Then, you know, Kobe had the case. Then, you know, all the other stuff like that. But we ain't even going to get into that, man. We ain't even going to get into that. But those are actually dropping. And those actually, to me, are tough. Those are actually a tough pair of 12s man they honestly remind me of the uh mellow 13s that uh, came out i believe it was last year even though they had those mellow 13s had got recalled and stuff like that but those uh 12s definitely do remind me of those that colorway that color blocking so it's definitely dope so be on the lookout for those as well also i really don't talk about this shoe on the channel man but i should have switched it up and um talk about it more that Air Yeezy 500s actually have this high top version now. Now, to me personally, I'm kind of digging it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I low key like it. You feel what I'm saying? I like because I'm really more of a high top shoe type of guy. I really don't rock with too many low top shoes. But this shoe right here is definitely a dope shoe. If you ask me, hopefully the price tag is not a $300 price tag. Hopefully they dropped it a little bit since it's not like the original 500s, but you never know if hype surrounding it and they already got their mind made up. It might be a 300 guy, but I don't see it. Maybe 250 or something like that. That's what I'm gonna hope for. But even then, 250 just to drop, just to just drop. You know what I'm saying? Is that's that's a lot. Like I said, only 250 I plan on dropping on the kick this year for retail is those Travis Scott sixes. Other than that, bro, like. 250 is a hefty 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 price tag man so i'm definitely um i'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for those man so hopefully they're not in that 250 300 range if they are in that 250 you know if they at like at the peak is 250 you know what i'm saying i might just sneak in there and just give me a pair so i could do a review for y'all man because i'm feeling that also man i'm just i'm battling myself like what is it that people like about these obsidian air jordan ones man like i don't know what it is it's just like for me personally i don't think it's an ugly shoe you know what i'm saying by any measures and everything i've just never liked the navy blue with the carolina blue whole combination combination and stuff and then it has a, it has that sail in there and sail is dope sail is dope but i'm Honestly, to me though, if they replaced the sale with an actual crispy white, I feel like that would have made the shoe pop a whole lot more, you know. But maybe that sale was giving it that vintage look, and that's what you know Nike is going for. And especially like with consumers and stuff nowadays, you know, people are looking for shoes that look real vintage, like you know what I'm saying. So I can't blame Nike, they're giving the people exactly what they want when it comes to that. But y'all let me know if y'all gonna 
if y'all gonna cop those guys, man. Like I said, to me, I really just don't know, man. Like, like I said, the shoe is cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. But I don't know. Like, some people is calling it the Air Jordan 1 of the year. Yeah, you can say that. Honestly, if you like, if you put a hype to the side and stuff like that, it really hasn't been like an Air Jordan 1 besides the Travis Scott's and, you know, I can't even think of another Air Jordan 1 that was just like tough like that. But if you put a hype to the side, definitely these are the Air Jordan 1's of the year. It's still not a bad shoe, man. I just don't feel like the shoe is for me personally. But if you cop them and you don't want to wear them or something like that, hey hold on to them man hold on to them even if even if you did cop you could resell them that day for at least 300 you could resell that shoe for a great price but if you hold it for a little bit it's going to go up it's going to go up man especially since like a lot of sneakers are starting to go up starting to creep up and stuff like that and you know you just hold on to your shoe for maybe a few months don't have that hot hand unless you need that quick bread you know send it off but if you just you know what i'm saying just hold on to it hold on to your shoes man and the stock value goes up and it goes up more and more and more like i told y'all in previous videos like the travis scott last year you get the travis scott fours you know it wasn't too much of a hefty price and stuff like that that shoe has jumped up tremendously you know what i'm saying that shoe has jumped up tremendously now you know especially since the um the air jordan one ogs came out then the travis scott lows came out and then now you had the sixes come out that shoe's value is going to rise you know what i'm saying then on top of that you just hold the shoe over time you know and then you see like a celebrity or somebody break that shoe out of stuff like that that makes people want to shoot because it's there it might be their favorite celebrity or their basketball player or nfl players rocking that shoe then like they're like oh i want that shoe i need that on my foot you feel what i'm saying so they go back and try to buy it and then you know that price is going up so if you do get those obscenies man and you don't plan on wearing them you don't plan on stocking them and keeping them in the collection man i say hold them on hold on to them for a few months or whatever and i guarantee you when you flip them you'll flip them dang near for more than double the price of what you got them for so that's my spill on that man and then also next week the um desert camels are dropping on the sneakers app i believe and the retail for them is 190 like i said before i'm passing on those that's not my style if i get a pair of 10s this year i'm looking for it again the seattle 10s that's it. I do not have a pair of 10s in my collection. So I would definitely try to look, get the Seattles. If I can get the Seattles sometime down the line. Excuse me. I try to get Chicago 10s. That's pretty much it. And then um, also we have better looks at the What the Fours. And I know in my previous video I said they look like the motorsports to me and other stuff. They're actually a combination of the breads. Um, Fire Red Fours. The Military Blues and the cement fours now people are like kind of bashing this shoe and stuff like that but i personally think that when this shoe drops and there's better photos and stuff like that are you seeing them on foot are you seeing them in hand i feel like the shoe is going to be a lot better like i said i feel like the pictures don't do it any justice and a lot of times the photos with certain shoes like that doesn't do it any justice like me personally i can't speak for the world but when those air jordan one top threes drop before they even dropped, when I seen pictures of them, I was like, yo, I, I'm i not feeling that. That was something different, you know what I'm saying? But you see now, that's a hot shoe. It was a hot shoe from the jump. You've seen it on foot and stuff like that. And I was like, dang, I actually slept on that shoe. I wish I could have actually got it. You know, a lot of people actually kind of slept on that shoe. I remember in the mall in Hawaii, freaking, they set that shoe out and really like, people, you could just walk in and get the shoe. It wasn't even a line for the shoe. Like, nobody was really too thirsty for it. And now, you see what that's reselling for. So, definitely, you know, I think that shoe is going to be dope. I'm going to pick it up, you know. Then on top of that, got the Nike Air on the back and everything like that. So, why not? You feel what I'm saying? But let me know in the conversation below 
what you plan on picking up? Are you? Do you feel like you're gonna pick up the what the fours? Do you feel like you're gonna pick up these obsidians? Are you gonna pick up these desert camos? Do you like these ZZ 500 highs that's going on? How do you feel about the Rip Hamilton Royals, the PE joints? How do you feel about the Gary Payne PE joints, man? Just let me know in the comment section below what you rocking with, what you like, and what you don't like, man. Thank you for paying, uh, golly, man, it'd be hot outside, I'd be sweating, bro, tripping. But thank you all for everybody who has been liking and subscribing to the page, man. The Cortez video is almost at 1K views, man. That would be my first thousand view video. So please make sure y'all keep on sharing and everything like that. Let's get these views up so I can hit, just reach 1K, man. I definitely would appreciate that. Getting 100 subscribers and having a video that's worth, not worth, but that done had 1,000 views in my first month of actually doing YouTube. That would be dope for me, man. So I appreciate y'all, you know, without y'all subscribing to the channel and checking it out and commenting, man, I really wouldn't be able to just to keep on doing this while I keep on trying, but y'all make it easier for me to do. So I definitely appreciate that. So once again, make sure y'all like, subscribe, share the page, man. It's your boy 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feet with something.